My name is Robert Carter II, and this is my video diary. I'm filming this video diary to give you a better insight on who I am as well as the filmmakers behind Drip and an insight on it and how it originated and I think that's just as important as anything else. I was named after my father. Uh, he didn't want a junior so he named me the second and uh, it's on my birth certificate and everything. I was born in Fort Hood which is the largest army base. It's in Texas, and it's right inside of Colleen. Being a military brat, we moved around a lot. I spent most of my youth in Louisiana, and my father was stationed in Fort Polk, and I attended Leesville Middle School. After I graduated from there, we went to Airline High School, which was in Bossier City, Louisiana, and that's where my father was stationed at for four years. After I graduated from Airline High School, we ended up moving back to Texas, and my father was again stationed in Fort Hood. And from there, I was about 17 or 18, I decided to go to college. And I only attended about a semester or two, but I went to Central Texas College, and there's where I met William Branch. Me and Will had actually taken a few classes together uh, one of them was Mr. Salter's drama theater class. It was that class where I realized that him and I had similar interests in movies and acting. Later on down the road, I had decided to join the Navy. And it was the best career path at the time. And it was the easiest way for me to get out of Colleen. And so I signed up. I went to Great Lakes for boot camp. I came back down to San Antonio uh, to go through A school. I graduated from there and I ended up in Washington. It was an honor to serve my country. My father had served, my uncle had served, so I figured it was time for me to serve. And I got a lot of experience out of it. Uh, I have a lot of memories that uh, I'll never forget. And I made a lot of new friends, but I'm here in Washington now because I met my wife here and uh, she's in the military and she actually is taking a career path like she's going to do her 20 years and so I'm supporting her uh, in any way that I can and she's supporting me about my film career and uh, she's 100% behind me on that and I you know I I'm entirely grateful for that and uh, she's She's uh, the best thing that ever happened to me. When I had immediately gotten out of the military, I had called Will up and I told him, hey, look, I'm out. Uh, what's going on on your side? And we had always talked about doing a movie together. Uh, we used to talk crap back in the day. Hey, look, you know, hey, we should do a movie. So uh, it was really crazy timing how everything ended up just coming together. But he was graduating. And when I got out of military, uh, he was on the verge of uh, getting his diploma. I told him if it was a better time to do it than to let me know. Uh, but he agreed that this was the time. This was the time to do it. So we were exchanging ideas back and forth. Uh, Will had wanted to do a family drama. I pitched the idea of a dark story centered around a circle of friends. He ended up liking it. And so I started working on the plot. We settled upon a miniseries initially. So I'd written about five episodes before considering that we would have more success if it was a feature-length film. So then I had to go back and condense the material, and it turned out to be around 130 pages. I'll be flying back down to Texas, and filming will be primarily in Dallas. With your support on Indiegogo, the funds will go to all the necessary equipment costs, travel costs, food costs for the cast and crew, and filming permits for the shooting locations. I cannot thank you enough for your donations. Because of you, this film will become a reality. Come back and check for more updates and video diaries for Drip. Thank you.